Hi beloveds, how are you today? So let's talk about clarity. Um, just don't expect to get clarity all at once um, and that it happened really fast. Um, that's not the case for many people. Um, some people, well, first off, everyone has the ability and capacity to know what their life's purpose is and how to connect that to their career. Everyone has the capacity to learn on their own, to discern and reflect and figure that out. Um, it's something that uh, the universe, I believe, wants us to know. Um, so we're given that capability to know what that is. The problem is that there's so much noise. There's so much noise out there that it can be hard to hear our calling. Um, it can be hard to receive it and to know what it is. Um, there can be people who we look up to, who we trust, um, who we respect, and they could tell us that whatever we think our purpose is uh, or the career that we think we can live our purpose out through, they may say, oh, that doesn't make sense or that's not a good idea, and we believe them. Um, there could be the point that we're working so hard just to live, you know, paycheck to paycheck or whatnot, that we don't allow ourselves the time and the space to really listen and discern and reflect about it. <clears throat> we could see things on TV or have uh, mindset issues that prevent us from really believing and moving forward with what our life's purpose is and how we might connect that to our career. Um, there can be just so much noise out there that it can be hard to really accept and move forward um there are times when like we know what our purpose is but we think oh no 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 i can't do that or i'm not going to do that it's just ridiculous but really that's what you're meant to do um again there's just so much noise and so <clears throat> even though some people feel like oh wow i know what i want to do and how to get there there are a lot of people who it just doesn't come that easy um, if it were that easy there wouldn't be a market for career consultants and career advisors and all of that there wouldn't be a market for it but there is um, also to have this kind of clarity is priceless it's priceless and people are willing to invest their time and energy into this process um, again that's why there's that market for career consultants and so on um, because people recognize just how important it is how life-changing it is to be able to um, really feel grounded in what our life's purpose is and to you know have a career that can connect to that and then all the stars align you know it's it's a priceless thing and um, it's a worthy thing and that's where a lot of joy can stem from Okay, so um, I also feel I'm not a big person on being perfect and perfection, um, but let's just use this analogy. Um, getting clarity on your life's purpose and understanding how you might connect that with what your next steps are, um, it's like uh, cooking the perfect meal okay um, to cook the perfect meal you may have to try a few different recipes and um, there could be something that smells so good like oh that smells good and that's a really good indicator that it probably tastes good too but you just can't go on smell alone taste test it okay um, taste test it before you decide like this is what I'm gonna do um, there are times where I work with folks and you know we go through a process and they're like oh wow this smells so good I think this is it and I say good and now let's do some taste testing um, talk to people in the field um, do some volunteering uh, take a class that relates to that area do some more deep digging because whenever you decide to move forward with that path, it's gonna take your energy, it's gonna take your time, and maybe even money if you're going back to school for something. So you don't wanna spend uh, time, money, and energy on something that may end up not being what you really think it is. Quick example, right? Um, let's say that you think, oh, I wanna be a nurse because I wanna help people and I like to care for people when they don't feel well. I'm a good communicator, I wanna be a nurse. And I know that and I'm gonna invest this money and go to nursing school and that's it. <clears throat> what I would say is taste test it, taste test it. Because you know what, um, this person could find out like, you know what, actually I'm really afraid of needles and I don't like seeing blood. And you know what? Um, being a nurse you're probably gonna interact with some needles you're probably gonna interact with some blood and so sometimes what we think a career field is or occupation is you know could be more involved in what we really think and you don't want to invest a lot of time and energy into something without knowing exactly you know these kind of things so think hard about that and um uh, let's see i'm just checking to see 
I think that's about it, okay? I did pretty good. I didn't have to look at my little notes. I jotted down too much. So, um, you know, invest in yourself. And um, I also want to mention that, you know, we're just connected. We are all connected. Um, if, let's say, if I don't move forward with my purpose and my life's purpose, um, there's going to be an unmet need out there in the world that I'm supposed to fill, but I'm not filling. And then um, I could be unfulfilled because I'm not enjoying my work. And there are people out there that I should be serving that I'm not. Um, and so when we don't when we don't take the time and energy to discern and move forward with our life's purpose, it impacts, it's like this ripple effect, okay? So I believe that it's our duty to um, discern and think deeply about what we want to do and be, you know, contribute what we were meant to contribute to the world. All right, so take care and I will see you all later. Leave your comments. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.